The Atlanta Falcons. Yo, this team. I can't even believe that loss. And Falcons fans, don't even bring up that weird review thing that happened at the end. No excuses. This is an L. Let's talk about it. All right, first off, we're not blaming this loss on Todd Gurley. All right, I mean, yes, that was a mistake. Um, for those of you who didn't see it, one minute, four seconds left. All he has to do is fall down short of the end zone. He accidentally falls in. You could tell he was aware of the situation because he tried to hold himself up. He was unable to do so. Falls into the end zone, and then the Lions drove down. And actually, credit to Matt Stafford because that drive down to win was impressive. You can never blame a loss on one player or one play. It happens all the time on Twitter and in the media, but you really can't. Um, for example, in this game, there was a ton of things that the Falcons could have done better, but I think the most significant moment was in the fourth quarter, um, Lions miss a field goal, right? Falcons get the ball back up one point with seven minutes to go. Perfect, decent field position, perfect, perfect position to drive down the field, score, and really take control of the game. They didn't do that. Matt Ryan took a strip sack on third and nine and set the Lions up in great field position for a go-ahead field goal. So I think that moment is probably the most significant moment. Falcons got the ball back with the lead, with the chance to take serious control of the game, didn't take advantage of it. All right, and I'll address this quickly. I know I saw on Twitter a lot of Falcons fans were upset with the review at the end and the penalty that should have been a 10 second runoff. You're correct, an offensive penalty with the clock running um, in the last two minutes is a 10 second runoff, except the officials review negate that penalty. Once the official decides that they're gonna review it, everything stops. So that penalty technically never happened. Um, a lot of Falcons fans on Twitter were going nuts on that, just wanted to clear that up. That was the right call. Some of these Atlanta Falcons fans have gotten ridiculously out of control. Exhibit A, Nick Orr of Mo Sports Network. This man is suffering from delusion. I was down at Mo Sports Network Studios last week and Nick Orr said out loud that the Falcons were going to go eight and eight. No, he wasn't joking. He said this out loud. Now it's not his fault. Falcons delusion is an actual mental illness according to the Surgeon General. Like I said, it's not his fault. It's a mental illness. In fact, he's actually a pretty logical, talented sports writer. You can check out his blog in the bio. But one Falcons win, and it's like this dude loses all sense of logic. It's like he stopped taking his medication. Anyway, so what's the plan here, Falcons fans? What's the plan? You gotta think what that loss puts you, I mean, you're not mathematically out of the playoff race, but it's not looking good. Drop a comment if you're a Falcons fan. Let me know what you think. What, what moves need to happen for this team? Obviously, we're gonna see a reshuffling of the coaching staff, but I wanna know what you think. Let me know.